Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video, we have a couple of very, very interesting updates. Updates of some bodybuilders and their physiques. We have some really interesting news, but we have to start with this one. It's Big Ramy right now at, let's say, 340 about to start his contest diet so he's not even dieting as of yet but take a look at his conditioning at 340 freaking pounds he is pretty much shredded already he looks like he usually does it like four weeks out and right now he's 340 freaking pounds guys this is insane look at his chest look how grainy his chest is also his upper shoulders about his side shoulders it's not really the case they look a little bit blurred for whatever reason let's not discuss that look at the abs look at the depth of his abs look at those bicep veins he is really well conditioned at this weight man that's going to be something crazy on that stage you might be thinking he's always freaking enormous and pretty lean, but is that really the case? Has he ever been this lean at this weight? No, no. Let me show you what his coach, what his trainer actually, Dennis James, has to say about it. Check this out. Chad's plan to have yeah. him at his condition he's ever been in. Yeah, with see. the size that he has, I think this is going to be lethal. I mean... Look, look, he was at his lightest last year. I mean, he was probably lighter in 2016. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He ended up like medium Rami on stage. But last year, that was, after that, that was the lightest he's ever been. He was almost the same weight as he was in 2013 at the Olympia yeah. last year. You know, and that was due to the fact that he wasn't training all year. So now he trained all year and he had that size. He kept that size. And now he's got, I mean, the starting position from here is crazy. I mean, Chad's happy. I would be surprised if we wouldn't see the best condition at no less than 300 pounds. I put him on the scale last year because I wanted to see. And, you know, and it was 279 for the finals. All right, so last year, Big Ramy was 279 pounds, let's say 280, and he was in pretty good condition, but however, now, Dennis James, his trainer, is predicting that Big Ramy is going to be no less than 300 pounds on stage, with great conditioning, can you imagine that, guys, that's 20 freaking pounds difference in one year with better conditioning, that's going to be absolutely unstoppable. I believe that's going to be the case, because check this out, here's another photo, he looks freaking shredded already, he already looks gnarly, grainy, and he's 340, do you guys see 40 pounds there to be lost before he's conditioned, before he's super lean, 40 pounds, that's like maximum, I could see him being in great condition at like 315, 320 even, 310 would be great, but 300 from this point, he's going to be peeled, and he's going to be bigger than everybody on that stage, so we can already call it, this is your 2022 Mr. Olympia champion, it's Big Ramy, three-time Mr. Olympia champion, I, I don't see, I don't see how would it be possible for anybody else to beat him, be my guest, tell me in the comment section, who has a chance of dethroning him, but come on guys, be realistic, nobody's gonna do that, not this year. Now check this out, another photo, another pose, and here he also looks so lean, so grainy, it's ridiculous, it, it's ridiculous, and look at the waist, waist looks so small too, look at the wee taper, look at the size of those freaking arms and the lats, if we had somebody like, I don't know, Phil Heath at his best, or Ronnie Coleman at his best, maybe then we would be discussing whether Big Ram is going to win the Mr. Olympia or not, but with today's lineup, it's lights out, man, already, we can already be sure, Big Ram is going to win that Mr. Olympia, he's going to crush everybody, he's going to kill everybody this year. Why is he going to be at his very best this year? Well, that's because last year he did not train all year. And even like that, he showed up at 280 and he won the Mr. Olympia. However, this year he trained during the entire offseason. And he made some progress. He made some gains. He looks like an absolute alien right now. And I'm very, very excited to finally see him on stage shredded. Among these recent photos, we can also see his back. Now, his back has always been his weakness. It doesn't look super impressive right now. But check out his glutes. Even though he's wearing shorts, you can still see some striations on them. And also his lower back is not that... It's not fat, right? 
Like, he doesn't have, like, the most uh, genetically blessed structure when it comes to back. He doesn't have the craziest lower lats. He doesn't really have a ton of muscle back there like he does everywhere else. So that's why it may look like he's not super conditioned, but really he's very lean from behind as well. Uh, the back could be better for sure, but it doesn't have to be. He has everything else so, so overpowering that he does not have to be perfect. He can have some flaws and still beat everybody. Not just beat everybody, kill everybody, destroy everybody. So right now I'm calling it, I have Big Ramy winning the Mr. Olympia again easily this year. Whatever you guys think though, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys are looking for a great multi-mineral, multi-vitamin product with also a probiotic in it, there is a great product by the old school labs, it's called Vintage Base, the link is down below, if you use my code EVEN you get a 15% discount and it really helps me and this channel, so if you want to show support that way, there is a link down below, the code is EVEN, thank you guys so much. Earlier I asked you guys, who do you think can actually challenge Big Ramy? who has the potential of beating him? And I'm sure it was the same with you like it was with me, Nick Walker came to mind. Why? Is he really that good? Well, he's an absolute freak, but he's one of one of few people, if not the only person, that is saying that they are going to win the Mr. Olympia. He's saying that, he wants that to win, he's very confident, and previously he said he was going to win the Arnold Classic, and so he did it. He said the same thing about New York Pro, he won that show too, but as far as the Mr. Olympia, he wasn't saying he was going to win the Mr. Olympia first time he competed, he was saying he wants something like top 5, so he accomplished that. However, this year he wants that to victory, he thinks he can do it. Do you guys think he can do it? Well, here is a photo, a new photo of himself, in which he looks like he, he actually made those legs bigger, for sure. And now as he's getting leaner and leaner, we will see more of the progress that he made in the offseason. And in this photo, his legs look scary, like they look so freaky. Though I can't help but notice his varicose veins. I think they have gotten worse, I think they have gotten much worse. I know usually when he's leaner, they are more visible, but the way they're looking right now, it doesn't look good, man. It looks, it looks unhealthy. I know this is a condition and it doesn't necessarily have to be treated, it's not a disease or anything like that, but he should try and fix it somehow, I don't know, wear some uh, compression socks or something like that, whatever the old people are doing to get their fixed, because this looks very disturbing, it's, it's really hurting his aesthetics, he just looks like, uh, like a mutant, which is his nickname. And I, I don't know, I mean, I don't think it's a good thing. I don't think it's a good thing at all. I don't think the judges like this. Uh, he likes it, he doesn't care about it, he says it's awesome. So if he likes it, then sure, whatever, but if he wants to do better on stage, I'm sure if he fix this, his overall package would be better. He would have more of a aesthetic factor. I mean, this guy is... <laughs> you don't want to use the words aesthetic and Nick Walker in the same sentence, because this guy has no aesthetics whatsoever. He looks like a, like a freak, like a mutant. And, you know, freak factor is definitely a good thing in bodybuilding, in open bodybuilding, but... I don't know, those veins are really throwing me off. However, let's not let's not pay attention to that too much if you can do it. I don't know, I can't, but maybe you can. Let's do this, yeah, let's cut out those calves. If you just take a look at his upper leg, his quads, also he has some varicose veins, uh, even in the quads, not as much as in the calves, but he does have some. If you just take a look at his legs, how much did they progress? I think they progressed some. He already had decent legs, I think he made them a little bit better and bigger. We'll see how it will look on stage, legs are one of those body parts that really look impressive when they're super lean, when you can see all the separation, all the striations, and he does have a lot of details in his quads, and if he gains some mass too, and I think he did, it's just going to look that much more impressive on stage, and potentially this guy might crack, I don't know, top 3 at, at max? I don't know about that, I think he's going to be somewhere in the top 5 again, but if he progressed actually, and I believe he did, he's a really hard worker, then I could see him in top 3 at the best case scenario. Whatever you guys think about Nick Walker and his potential placement at Mr. Olympia, tell me, tell me what do you think.
Alright, next we have a physique update of Michal Krizo at 3 weeks out of his uh, amateur show, Mr. Olympia Amateur, uh, where he's going to win his pro card, and he looks nasty right now, look at this freaking monster, look at the size of the arms, look at the shape, like the wee taper, the size of the legs, the width of the shoulders, the waist size too, his stomach seems a little bit bloated, but structurally, he has a small waist, his chest also looks great, it looks separated, it looks big and full, uh, the glutes are, you know, the weakness, but they are, they're lean, look at the, look at the triceps, and back doesn't look that bad, uh, <laughs> this pose, man, side tricep, insane, insane, and he's only three weeks out, so he's going to improve significantly in those three weeks, uh, I mean, he's just doing an amateur show, so he doesn't have to be at his absolute best, but when he does a pro show, EVLS Prague Pro, that's when he needs to be, like, really on, because he's probably going to have some top IV pro uh, competitors over there, it's not going to be easy to win that show or any Mr. Olympic qualifying show, look at the size of his head, how ridiculous his proportions are, huh, <sighs> insane, so if he wants to win that pro show, he needs to be really on, and he definitely has a lot of time to be really on, and look at the back, look at the wee taper, it's not that bad, man, it's not really that bad, his back is fine, it's good, when he gets leaner, it's going to get better, now his waist, I think it was smaller a couple of years ago, it may have grown a little bit, but of course it did, it's normal, when you, when you grow everywhere, you're gonna grow in your waist a little, but overall he has a small waist structurally, insane arms, one of the best arms in the world right now, along with Nick Walker, look at the most muscular, wow, look at the chest striation, uh, look at how lean his shoulders are, so he's definitely getting in that crazy condition, and right now, at this point, three weeks out of his amateur show, and maybe like, I don't know, seven weeks out of Evilas Prague Pro show, I'm not sure how much there is, but something like that, he looks great, he looks great, he looks awesome, and I think this guy's going to win the pro card, of course, easily, and then the Mr. Olympic qualification, we will see him on that stage. Next, we have an update of Mark Hector, this is like a more relevant topic, because this is going to happen sooner, this weekend, to be more precise, Mark Hector is about to do the British Grand Prix, and this is his most recent physique update right now, he potentially may have started carving up slowly, or he's about to start, he might be super flat in this photo, does he look flat? I think he does look flat compared to what we're about to see on stage, however, how much did he progress from last year, he progressed a ton, his upper body looks so much bigger, his legs also do look better, they look bigger, especially the adductors, he definitely grew those adductors, and now this is something the guys do when they don't have a genetically dominant outer head or the quad sweep, when they don't have that, you can train it really hard, but when you don't have it genetically, it's really stubborn, it really doesn't want to grow, it's similar to calves, so when that is the case, bodybuilders go about trying to grow their inner, inner thigh area, the adductors, because that's the body part that grows much easier, so he definitely did that, how did he do that? Well, probably by doing some uh, really wide stance squats, maybe doing the adductor machine, stuff like that, so he definitely improved his legs, are his legs going to hold him back? I think they will hurt him, he's going to be compared against guys like James Hollingshead, uh, Martin Fitzwater, Andrew Jack, all these guys have crazy looking round quads, big legs, and I know Brandon Curry can beat so many great bodybuilders, almost all of them in the world right now without having great legs, with having legs maybe even worse than Mark's, but his upper body is just so, so insane, and that's not exactly the same case with Mark Hector, he is great, he has a really, uh, it really is something special, his upper body is really great, a really small tiny waist, bubbly kind of physique, like everything is popping, especially those delts, but it's not Brandon Curry, man, come on, let's be honest, so where do I have this guy placing at the British Grand Prix? I have him in fourth, after Martin, after Andrew, and after James, I think James is going to be third, and I think Martin is going to be second, and I think Andrew, of course, is going to win that show quite handily, whatever you guys think though, tell me down below in the comment section, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and for more stuff like this, subscribe to my channel guys, thank you so much for watching, all the best, and bye bye.